All right, I've added all my images and I've also used the um, prettier command in, in my command in my settings little cog. If I click on command palette, um, I can see that there's a lot of options here. Uh, I learned when I installed the prettier code that I can just select my document and type shift command P. And from here I find I found prettier and then I chose format document. So let me just show you what that does. If I take this tag and scooch it out of its indent order. You'll see it jump here. I'll do it to a few of them. Just because sometimes when you type your code, you don't type the indents the way they belong, showing parentage. So I'm going to select my document and do Shift Command P. And you can see how that automatically formatted it. Um, it created the indents that show me that the word the tag main is a child of the tag body. The tag nav is a child of the tag main. And the tag a is a child of the tag nav. Nav is on the same level as section. But section has some children, h1, h3, and p, and img. So, uh, Choosing to shift command P format document that just sets it up so that you can see the parentage correctly. Now let's add a background image. I'm going to add it to the, I'm going to add, let's show you which image I want to add. This telephone pole I would like to put in the background of this. So let me show you how to do a background image that's just a little bit different than adding an inline image the way we did here. So I'm going to put the background image on the body tag. It's, a, it's an attribute. And so I'll choose style equals, got my two quote marks, here's the attribute I'm using. And then I'll type background hyphen image. Look, I can just let Visual Studio Code fill that in for me. And then you type the phrase URL and parenthesis. And then right here, you begin to type your path. So I'll type assets. Let's see, background image. I'm just checking the path. Starts with a quote, ends with a quote. All right, let's see what that looks like. Oh, I see it already changed. There we go. Now I want to add one more thing underneath the source, and that is a link to a video. So you might remember, let me just go back here, content. In your slideshows, I have one called Common Tags. And I want to look at slide number 17, just to show you a little bit about how to add a video. Whoops, there it is. So you can see here, these are my instructions on the code that you would use to add a video. That's, oops, can't click on it. That's if you have, are putting in a, a link to a YouTube video. You use the iframe tag. We're going to do it slightly differently here. And I'll tell you that I've got this video. Let me go to the source file again. Oh, I already had that opened. At the top here, you'll see there's a video here called How the Internet Works in Five Minutes. This mistake posted, is cost. Oh, let me pause that. It's posted on YouTube. I'm just going to silence it for now and get past the ad. There we go. Now I can skip the ads. So here's the video that I want to put on our website. It's how the internet works in five minutes. Um, so I'm going to click the share button and I'm going to get the embed code. I'm going to just copy it here. So now I've copied it. 
And over here on my Visual Studio Code page, I'm going to go to the bottom. It's in the, ooh, not five, but index, the bottom of index, in the footer. So after the link where you can see, let's see, I don't have it open anymore, but perhaps it's open here, yeah. You can see there's the source, that's an A tag, right? There's that all right there. And I want to go right below it. In order to do that, I'm going to have to put in a break tag because I don't want it to be on the same line. And now I can paste my iframe. So there's the video. I should probably put some text here that says, watch this short video on how the internet works. I read some place. I'm going to put a little BR tag here first before I... I read some place that you should always capitalize the word internet. And uh, that might be true and it might not be true. I'm going to pretty prettier this file. Shift Command P. And that just formatted everything here for me. And now let me do a save and let's look at, there's the video right there. And it should work because we've got the embed code. So how oh, does, oh, that's loud. I'm going to leave the volume down, but you can see the video is starting to play there. The last thing we're going to do here in this video is to check the code to make sure I haven't made any mistakes. This is something you should do at the end of every single one of your labs. So first, I'll get a new tab here, and I'm going to put in new validator. Notice I spelled that with N-U. Um, I'm going to go to the W3Schools validator. There it is. And I'm going to choose to check this by text input. So it gives me a big blank spot here. I'm going to delete that. Oops. I'm going to copy my code, Control-A, Control-C. Paste it in here and choose check. So it's telling me that there is a little error with my frame border attribute. And I copied this right from the internet, but uh, I don't mind. I can tell the frame border to not be there and then check it again. And now I have no errors. So I'll do the same thing on mine. I'll go over here and where is the frame border? Right there. It said it was a old tag and that people don't use it anymore. So YouTube needs to catch up. All right, I have validated that page. Let's validate this page too. Control A, Control C, and let me get rid of all this. Paste and check. Oh. There, this is important. It says image elements must have an alt tag. That is for screen readers, for people who are visually impaired. I've got six errors because I have six images. So let's put in the alt tags here, just to make sure we're doing everything in compliance. Here's my first image. I'll skip a space between attributes and type alt equals. This is my attribute. And uh, I'm just going to put Internet Schema 1. I'm going to make that be the name of my alt tag. And I'll do the same thing on my second image. Alt equals Internet Schema 2. Copy and paste. Same thing with 3. And then, oops, I don't want to copy that PNG. So once I finish with this, our labs one and two websites will be completely finished. I'm going to save this. I know that it has its alt tags in there now. Oh, did I put? Yes, alt, alt. Now I can paste that into the validator.
and document checking completed. No errors or warnings to show. Always check your work. That's it for lab two.